Welcome to Bajulai, a space that explores Yoruba cosmogony, rationale and artistic prowess in relation to modern society and its influence and position amongst canonical philosophies, spiritual practice and artistic creation. Today we'll be speaking briefly about the creation story of the Yoruba people, what that means and how we interpret that in our current times. There has been many variants of the creation story due to the different iterations and interpretations passed down by different generation and different ethnic groups. One particular variation paints the memory of Obatala, who was given the task of creating the world by Olodumare, the author of existence. Obatala descended from the outer realm known as Ajuleorun, which is heaven, into Odeaye, the material world, in order to create a landmass from the primordial waters. He was provided with the mythical implements of creation in the form of a closed calabash, known as Igba Iwa, within which was a snail shell, the supreme metaphor and image of Ashe, having the power to make things happen. Containing the primordial soil, a five-toed bird or chicken, some palm kernels, nuts, and a chameleon. Obatala descended atop a palm tree. Issue the divinity of chance and uncertainty subsequently directed Obatala's attention to the juices of the palm wine. Distracted, Obatala was seduced by the sweet palm wine and he began to drink excessively, falling into slumber and forgetting his important assignment. Odudua, also known from the folk etymology, implies eniti odu ikbaiwa, one who rescued or struggled from the receptacle containing the deed of creation. Odudua, on his way to investigate Obatala, found him in slumber from the drunken stupor. As a consequence, Odudua descended from heaven into Odeaye with the aid of a chain, poured the primordial soil on the surface of the waters and thereby released the chicken from the calabash to scatter the soil around. This location in which all this occurred to the Yoruba people is known as Ile Ife, which translates to ground slash home spread, a wide expanse of land. Regarded as the origin of all Yoruba people, Ile Ife is the place where the world was created. Ile Ife is the home of those who survived the deluge. Ile Ife is the place where light radiates all over the world. Continuing with the mysterious task of creation, Odudua subsequently released the chameleon on the surfaces of the primordial ground to test whether the creation was firm, to check whether the land was firm. The chameleon, a supreme symbol and metaphor of change, transformation and performative power, Ashe decreed the land was solid and wide. This is just one of few iterations of the creation stories. There has been many, and of all, suggest that Obatala was given the task and he had began the task by creating the world, but had gotten distracted through the drinking of palm wine, through the seductive taste and sweet taste of palm wine. And suddenly the task also fell to Odudua. But whatever iteration that we believe, the story remains the same. The origin remains the same. Which is the fact that there's a rich and expansive cultural lineage that Yoruba believe in. That is true of the belief of the Yoruba people. To end this little story time, I would like to share an excerpt from a book. Ekumami. The day God said black was tomorrow. An existence ceased to breathe 
and there was darkness. For revolution, for renewal, for darkness is not that which is cruel, nor is it of dirt and of nightmares. The day God said black was a day the sky was filled with water, in which birds with sacks of sands were divine to earth the land. Okundiaye, the birds chanted, and as the land formed, Agemo was sent by Olodumare to walk on it, to make sure that it was well. Agemo, one with the coral tail, reported back to Olodumare, stating, The land was ready. Parts were cleared. They became us. We became the way. We are becoming of the way. The remembering of 10,000 years. A billion memories. A trillion yesterdays and seven billion tomorrows. I guess that is also my iteration of the creation story. But one thing always remains, that I am Yoruba. Awa o soru ile wa o